Hi, it's Brad from Trans Audio Group here at NAMM 2019, and welcome to the Trans Audio booth. We're here showing you a few new things today that we're featuring in our booth. One of the things I have right behind me here is a new Mutech clock system, which offers really two devices, the MC3 Plus USB, which is a device that can take almost any kind of digital input and takes a look at the USB stream, or uh, uh, could be a SPDIF stream, or ASXLR type input, and it will uh, correct the clock and send it on. So it'll help improve any kind of audio uh, from any source that you're likely to have. As well as underneath it, you're going to see a product that's called the Ref10, which is a 10 megahertz reference for the MC3 Plus USB, so you can add that on to further improve it. It's the, the combination of devices is the clock system that probably has the lowest phase noise on the planet at the moment, which we think is one of the most important issues in determining which clocks sound help and which clocks actually just change the sound. So using the Mutec really helps to uh, help open up and define your image and define the product quite a bit. So, so that's Mutec. Um, then also here at the show we have we have some other new product called the Oratone, the A2 amplifier from Oratone. This is a new product that was designed by Oratone and built uh, in Poland, and it is quite a, a value product. We're going to be able to offer a package of the Oratones and an Oratone amp for under 600 US. So you're going to be seeing that hit the stores here just real quickly. It's just, now we're here at the Better Maker booth and, and uh, Mark from Better Maker has a new product here called the Bus Compressor. What's made Better Maker such a unique product and so different is that it's analog gear that can be controlled from all the digital audio platforms, meaning Pro Tools or whatever you have. So what makes it so easy is that it's for the busy engineer who has a lot of different clients. You might be working on one thing today and another thing tomorrow it can remember where you were. You can save it to a track or it has a global memory where you can save it to the front panel of the device itself. So it really sort of solves the, it's a bridge really between analog and digital in that it sounds like analog, but it works like digital. There's actually a, a GUI that appears on your computer and you can operate it from the screen or you can operate it manually from the front panel. So Better Maker has been a really strong product for us especially among the people that are working a lot with a lot of different customers, have a lot of different uh, uh, projects coming through their studios. A new product from uh, Subwoofer Pros. Subwoofer Pros is a brand that we uh, have built and developed on our own to provide really clean, low-end uh, base coverage for high-resolution monitors. We find we can use them under ATCs quite a bit, but here you see the Subwoofer Pros 12. This is a, a linear 12, it's not vented, it uh, doesn't use base reflex technology. It actually is a sealed box using uh, uh, something called infrafilter that enables it to be quite linear down very, very low. It has a switch in it that allows you to switch between a 60 hertz low pass or a 95 hertz low pass. They're available in 12 inch and 18 inch versions. What's great about them is that they they don't really change the sound of your mains. We're just focusing on what's below 100 hertz, so it really helps fill in the lower part of any monitor system. We use them a lot with ATC 20s and 25s, but it can be used with anything that you want. On top of that, we also have, you see behind me, is a new company called Airhush, which is a sort of revolutionary technology. This is the first time it's been seen at a show. Airhush is acoustic attenuator panels. These are quite unique in that they are modular and can fit together using simple hardware that you can build and modify on site. So what makes this so different is what's inside is an air pressure system that attenuates audio. It doesn't absorb it, it doesn't, doesn't diffuse it. It is simply an attenuator that will knock the sound level down, control SPL. So it's beautiful for building something like an amp box or a vocal booth, or perhaps even um, you know some sort of small room, or perhaps a gobo for your studio. Great for the home studio guy where your needs change constantly when you sometimes want an amp box and other times you're gonna need a gobo and then yet another time you might need a vocal booth. So this is a modular system that can be built. You can see right here in our booth at, at NAMM Show, we built an entire meeting room out of it. 
And uh, this particular room doesn't have a ceiling, but we'll walk you down to the air hush booth here in a minute and you'll get to see uh, what an amp box looks like and what a vocal booth looks like. Um, we're here at the air hush booth and what I wanted to show you was how you can deploy air hush panels in a very different way. You see here is a guitar amp box right here. And if you lift the top of that box, you can hear all the isolation. And you can hear the dramatic difference, you know, by lifting the top. And this is using this new technology that's collapsible, so it ships in a smaller configuration. You can see that over there on the panel, yet yeah, provides an extraordinary amount of isolation. We have actually built a complete vocal booth right here, and you can see that we can even go inside of it. It's kind of cool because you can put lights in it or you can put other acoustic treatment in it, but it creates a whole isolated space within a very noisy environment. So we think for people that are trying to do rooms within rooms, we're trying to figure out how to solve a lot of noise problems from ambient noise outside. This is a good solution. So let's go inside there. So here we are inside an air hush focal booth. So it shows you the modularity of the system enables you to create a lot of different spaces within a larger space. So you can start out with a few panels and build lamp boxes and eventually create gobos or build rooms or vocal spaces. It's a really new idea that's the first time it's ever been seen is here at NAM from the air hush company. So, thanks a lot. I'm glad you guys came, and thank you for visiting our Trans Audio booth at NAM 2019.